Team Travis and Brendan is a group of individuals that come together to run at the Marine Corps Marathon each and every year. I got a call from Travis from Iraq. I had run a couple marathons a few years back, but Travis called me up from Iraq. He said, Dad, when I get home, I want to run a marathon with you. And it was the last thing I wanted to hear, but I was like, okay, Travis. I couldn't turn him down, so we signed up for the marathon. He got his number, and he called me up and said, Dad, I got the number, ready to go. It was a couple weeks after Travis's death, and my dad said, you know, Travis and I signed up to do the Marine Corps Marathon. He said, I'm still going to run it. I'm going to run it, not, not only with my bid, but I'm going to run it with Travis's bid, you know, so, so at least we have that chance to, to do the marathon together. For 2008, 2009, we were Team Travis, and then 2010, you know, tragically, we lost Travis's roommate from the Naval Academy and, and great friend, Brendan Looney. Brendan was killed in September, and we immediately changed our shirts to, to say Team Travis and Brendan. Three and a half years later, losing Brendan, it was very important for me to honor their legacy of friendship and brotherhood. And I think incorporating Brendan into it just plays a whole nother, even more personal strength for me. I found Team Travis and Brendan about five years ago when I was looking for a group to run the Marine Corps Marathon with. I wanted to fundraise for a group that really gave back to Families of the Fallen. I was a huge fan of just the story of Travis and then I joined right after Brendan Looney's passing. Meeting the caliber of people that have come together because of Travis Mannion, Brendan Looney, and all the, those lost in action uh, serving their country. It inspires you and it moves you and it reminds you that uh, you have a great gift. It's not to be wasted. I have four small boys, and to be able to tell them when I left Ohio on Friday what I was running for, for those that have sacrificed their lives to give us our freedom. And when I told that story to our four boys, they were mesmerized as to what I was doing. And, and for me as a mom of four boys, and I have an amazing husband who supports me, using my running and using this foundation to teach my boys what dedication and determination means, that's what running for Team Travis has done for me. It's really meaningful because, you know, it, it tracks back to probably, it is probably the first event we ever did because of that marathon that I signed up with Travis. It's the first event we did as a group. You know, we always look back to that as the start of what we have here at the foundation. People get involved because they had a friend or they had a family member that was a part of the run. And each year they start to bring back more and more people because you can see that this impact is so amazing that it's had on them. You don't have to be a veteran. You don't have to be a family member of a fallen service member. You can be an everyday citizen that just wants to get involved because you wanna be a part of something that's so much bigger than yourself. If you wanna be challenged and you wanna feel that you're truly a part of something that really is bigger than just you, ask yourself, if not me, then who?